Happy Friday afternoon, guys. Sorry if I'm a little bit late, but Mrs. P and I were out taking care of some personal business this morning, and so kind of dealing with stuff. You know, one of the things that I find very interesting is you hear preppers say they don't want to get involved in politics. I mean, whether they're a content creator, whether they are one of you guys, whatever it would be. And it completely dumbfounds me as to why, because 90% of the stuff that we prep for is political. Now granted, in a hurricane in Florida, that's certainly not political. But the economic debacle we're in, the crime wave that we, we've got going on, the illegal immigration that we've got going on is all political. Okay. And if you think that politics and prepping don't have any mix, you might want to check what your beliefs, uh, you know, and I'm not talking about religious beliefs, I'm talking about your beliefs in freedom or whatever would be. If you look at what's happened today, okay, today, so far, our illustrious resident of the White House has peddled the fine people hoax again at a Rosh Hashanah speech he was giving, you know, beginning of the holiday. Uh, you have him also calling Georgia Maloney, the soon-to-be new Prime Minister of Italy, the conservative, a threat to democracy, okay, calling her an autocrat. You have John Kerry, remember him, okay, the climate czar over in China, praising the Chinese, saying that the United States needs to be more like China. Okay. Yeah, this is what's going on. This is what these selected leaders are doing to your freedoms, to your rights, and everything. They are trying to drive us 100% into a totalitarian communist society. Okay. This is, this is their pipe dream. This is exactly what they want. I mean, you go back six years ago and Bernie Sanders and the democratic socialist that he was, and the media, even the left-wing media was like, this ain't going to happen. There's no way in the world America's going to elect a socialist. But yet, you've got the jihad squad out there pushing this crap. You've got Bernie, who's been pretty quiet. Bernie doesn't have to say a whole lot because... Joe is ramming communism right down our throats. I mean, come on. When they're talking about a prime minister who puts God, family, and country first, that, I mean, all the left-wing media out there saying that she's Benito Mussolini all over again? I mean, hell, even her opposition came out the other day and said, well, he disagrees with her everything political on everything politically. She is not Mussolini esque, okay? But our brilliant minds that we have in Washington, this is what they're doing. I mean, you get Kamala Harris, you know, the rocket scientist that she is, over in the Far East the other day, praising our long standing ally. North Korea. I mean, again, this goes into when you're the choice for president, you need to pick a VP, and the rule of thumb is always pick somebody that's dumber than you are. It's a real tall order for Joe Biden, but he managed, okay? But these are the people that are leading us off the cliff right now. I mean, we have Biden practically begging for World War III to start. Do you want war? I don't want war. I don't think any of the American people want war. Do you have anything against the Russian population? I'm talking the people here, okay? Do you have anything against the Ukrainian people? Again, not the politicians, the people. I don't have anything against either one of them, all right? I don't think that your grandkids, your kids, my daughter, or whatever, 
should be put into a situation where they can wind up having to go to war for a lot of people in a country they couldn't even pick out on a map, all right? But these politicians, I mean, any of the American politicians, pick one, name anyone you want, okay? Putin, Zelensky, Xi Jinping, Liz Truss, I mean, any of these communist, socialist, dictator wannabes need to be stopped. And this is what, this is the true thing we are prepping for, guys. You know, economic collapse is going to be brought on by socialism. How is economic collapse going to happen? Gee, let's bring in a bunch of illegals to the point where we're going to give them a whole bunch of free stuff and you'll pay for it, okay? Again, this is socialism. You do all the work, they get the same benefits you do. That's the definition of socialism, okay? The United States is a land of opportunity, not a land of equality, not a land of equity. It is a land of opportunity, period. Politics is the bedrock principle that preppers follow. You are hard-pressed, very, to find many liberal preppers, okay? There are some, sure. But there was even a uh, video out yesterday, out in California, of a bunch of liberal women, liberal women, out at the gun range getting their CCWs in California, okay? And they interviewed one woman, and she said it's easier for her to talk about her same-sex relationship than it, with her friends than it is to talk about the fact that she owns a gun. She's at least thinking about how to protect herself from some of this crap that's going on. Because what is going to happen the day you wake up, turn on the news, flip on the computer, open the newspaper if anybody still does that, and the headline is, World War III Begins. Because that's coming, guys, and that's primarily what you're prepping for. Again, notwithstanding a hurricane, notwithstanding a tornado, notwithstanding a job loss, a divorce, or whatever. Those, in the great scheme of things, little issues. Okay, those personal SHTFs. But for all those who say that politics doesn't have a place in prepping, I beg to differ. Because in my opinion, the only good socialist is a dead socialist. Pinball out. Happy Friday. See you tomorrow.